Hey everybody, Patty Dorman here, just with a few words of encouragement from Scripture, especially in a time where we are seeing a lot of opinions expressed, especially through social media. And uh, one of the things that has been interesting for me to see and observe is how people are defining love um, as far as how they love their neighbor and and that if you don't do the things that they're doing, then you're not showing love. And so I search it through scripture, just, just, just remind myself. And I want to remind you in John 15 verses 12 through 13, Jesus said, My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this. To lay down one's life for one's friend. It makes me remember of what we just celebrated, or not celebrated, but just remembered on Memorial Day, those that did lay down their lives uh, in the armed forces. And I went over to 1 Corinthians chapter 13, and starting at verse 4, to remind myself what are some of the qualities of love. Um, that way, when I do hear other uh, definitions of love that are a lot of times mixed with fear. I can remember what love is. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. So remember during this time where so many different definitions of love are floating on social media and, and how you um, express your love in action, remember scriptural love. We do want to take care of one another, but we also want to encourage each other in scriptural truths truths that will lead us to an eternal life, a life that I um, can't even imagine, but I, I'm so forward, you know, looking forward to as I'm sure you are too. So remember, keep searching through scripture for truth. And for me, it was, let's, re, let's redefine or, or let's remember what love is scripturally. I hope you have a blessed day and I cannot wait to be worshiping with y'all together on Sunday. See you soon.